So this is our first, our inaugural, if you will, Dirt to Glass conference, and you've been helpful with all the planning and your perspective, because you come, obviously, you're newer to the region as a winemaker, um, coming from 17 years in the Willamette Valley. And I know Willamette Valley is a little bit further along than Michigan, uh, in terms of some of their collaboration and some of the other things that they've done from like in that cycle of dirt to glass. Can you talk about how you see this event in Michigan kicking off or pu pushing us in the direction of quality and collaboration and consistency that we've seen over the last couple decades in the Willamette Valley? Well, I think that it's interesting for me that, you know, in a place that has such a tiny, like tight knit community, that there hasn't been as much collaboration in the past that, that, that you'd seen in, in the Willamette Valley. Um, that's the first thing I see, and I think that this is a wonderful stepping stone toward that. Uh, I think that also, you know, that goes hand in hand with that, is as we start talking about what we're doing and how we're doing it and, you know, all the variations of what we see um, in our place and in our styles, then that helps build strength in each place. I think that, you know, so much of, I think, what people do when they have small wineries is you have a fortress, and you're in that fortress every day, and it's really important to lower the drawbridge and come out and, you know, share the ideas, and not only talking to the community, but within ourselves. I think that that part is a huge, big deal. It's like I saw it in the Willamette Valley when we go out on, um, on these trips and, and sell our wines, and Often it was the only time that I really had a chance to walk through a room, taste other people's wines, and actually, you know, share ideas. So I think this is a great step toward that. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. One of the things I'm most excited about is as we look at soil and as we look at uh, Michigan as a whole, there's so many things to explore and by going deeper, lit literally deeper, six feet, uh, and being able to dig soil pits and really look at geology, really look at soil structure, really look at nutrition in such a way that we can change how we understand what we have. And I think that uh, can be difficult for some people, but the more we can understand what's underneath the soil, we're going to do a better job of pairing rootstocks, we're going to do a better job of uh, managing nutrition, and we're going to do a better job of understanding even how um, drought-like conditions we can have. And so. Everything we're doing at this conference, I'm excited about, but most importantly, it's uh, collectively getting our knowledge deeper on understanding uh, the soils of Michigan. Hi, I'm Sean O'Keefe. I'm the winemaker at Mari Vineyards um, and my family, Chateau Grand Travers, uh, the first winery in Old Mission Peninsula. Uh, my father moved us back here, up here, when I was about four years old to plant grapes where people said things were never could be done. And a lot of progress has been made in the last many, many decades that we've been here. Um, but at one level, um, we are very savvy on our climate, we're savvy on winemaking styles, but to really go to the next level, we need to start digging down in the dirt and understanding what the, the basic elements are what that define our area. And I'm looking forward to this conference. There's a lot of people that are coming in from this area where it's sometimes tough because we're located on a peninsula, on the end of a peninsula, where we tend to get a little bit uh, on our own and to bring in the our colleagues in from the West Coast and from Europe and uh, other things is the very things that will really advance our region the way we need it to do. This is a great time to be a part of Michigan viticulture and enology. And the Dirt to Glass conference is going to be such a key component to moving forward with our farming practices and our quality of wine. I'm really excited to see what we can learn and discover at the conference this summer. Hi, I'm super excited that the Dirt to Glass, super excited that the Dirt to Glass is happening this summer. I think there's a great opportunity to learn a ton about our soils and our geology and all the things that we don't know that we will start to scratch the surface of. Well, that's because you're the dirt guy. <laughs> I'm the glass girl. So I'm really excited because I think that starting with the farming aspect of the, just starting with viticulture in this area and all over the state of Michigan, having more collaboration in that regard and remembering that wine is an agricultural product and something that uh, we have to celebrate and think about at every step in that circle 
uh, Georgia glass and I think we'll see an uptick not only in hopefully more vineyard area which would be nice to see but also uh, an overall increase in the quality of wines coming from all over the state that really puts Michigan I think on tables all over the world. I think that when you taste well-made Michigan wines you can truly get the sense of place and this is going to help us understand the why why things taste a certain way and why moving forward what are we aiming for yeah and i think we saw it today we tasted 30 mm -hmm. wines from michigan and else primarily from michigan but also elsewhere in the world and the wines that we saw um, how they compared to wines from prestigious regions throughout the world the old world and the new world our wines belonged it was very very cool absolutely cheers cheers thanks dave